Right everyone, this is uh, an unboxing for an instant air fryer. Right, before I forget, just make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, and follow these social media channels as indicated. Right, so this is a 5.7 litre instant uh, air fryer. Uh, comes with a smart app as well, which to be honest, I've not downloaded um, because it should be self-explanatory. Uh, it's a four-in-one, um, so in terms of uh, it, it's meant to be health and healthy and tasty uh, with a large capacity so 5.7 you can actually um, fit in a full chicken in it uh, so the four options that it has uh, are it basically deep deep fries no sorry it air fries uh, roast bacon reheats uh, so I'm doing a voiceover on this uh, I thought it's a lot easier rather than talking and and um, uh, uh, you know doing the video so with this one easy cleaning is you'll see it when we open it up um, it's a smart display so it's a digital display which is also really helpful it's got a little tray inside uh, which you'll see when we open up uh, countertop friendly yeah so the it's got little feet at the bottom uh, which make it easier it's got a 12 month uh, warranty which is also uh, very helpful but hopefully uh, from the reviews that I've read, uh, not many people have had issues with these. They seem to be really good built. Uh, comes inside with a pretty straightforward, short, short and sweet uh, little booklet. And in this booklet, when I do eventually get it open, um, it's got some basic instructions: how how to set it up right, um, what kind of temperatures you need to keep it at uh, for for different things. Um, so this is just the health and safety. Uh, a guideline for the instant uh, vortex uh, you don't need that so well you do need it at some point but not this at this time um, so it's got all these different different parts it, it tells you in terms of what to do initially so an initial one for 25 minutes um, just the different functions but you can work this out it's pretty self-explanatory when you get it out uh, so yeah when we were taking the box out you could see uh, the initial size of it, so you'll see me getting it out eventually. So yeah, we thought I thought this this makes it a lot easier in terms of doing the video. Uh, I do the video initially, then do a voiceover, which I'm doing. So you can see in the box, um, there was just a booklet, two book two, two booklets, and then you got the air fryer itself. Uh, so eventually, when I unwrap it, you should be able to see what the air fryer looks like. So it looks pretty much exactly what it looks like on the box. Um, so I'm still trying to get it out yet. Yeah. So it's never that easy, is it? So it's yeah, so just to go over. So with this one, you can bake. I did do a baking video, so you're going to see that soon. Uh, reheat, straightforward, reheat, so that's called. And obviously roast, as in terms of like chicken and air fry as standard. Um, so as you can see, in terms of it's a nice, black, clean built. In the front, it's got your digital display. It's got the round knob to basically uh, change the timing as well as the temperature. Uh, from the top, same again, quite a slick black look. Really decent. Um, so eventually, when I do figure out how to open it, and I realise that there are stickers on the sides. Uh, so uh, that was obviously for the safety of the box that I was uh, carrying. So I'll get that up, uh, get, that, get those off. Then eventually open it. There you go. So uh, yeah, we end up opening it up. Uh, you can see in terms of the way this is built, it's in a very square format. Hence why you can get an actual chicken in it. So I've got a Tefl air fryer, and that's that's round. So this is square. So you can actually you can, you can imagine sticking a full chicken in this, um, and it will it'll be fine. Um, and it, you could tell in terms of the the texture and the material it will be very easy in terms of to you know take the tray out easy for cleaning. Um, same with the the actual um, the the cabin of it. it. It looks very easy, very sturdy. Uh, there's no holes at the bottom, which I found with the other ones I did. So this is all like kind of um, solid inside. So you could actually put it in, you know, do your cooking, baking, whatever you want to do, reheating. When it needs a clean, just take it out and just you know, give it a good, clean, nice, clean and uh, clean wash. Inside, no moving parts apart from the air fryer itself at the top. You can see, uh, and that's about it from that side. Um, yeah, so I thought we'll have a quick look at the starter guide. 
Um, it just goes through the initial setup, how you go about setting it up. But we give you all the instructions about cleaning, how you should go about cleaning, and what's the right way of doing it. Um, also, in terms of you know how you should uh, position it on your countertop. So keep a bit of a distance away. So yeah, it tells you to do an initial run of 25 minutes. Um, it goes through in terms of your smart dashboard, you know, how, how to go about changing it, changing the timer, changing the temperature. Uh, you can change it from Fahrenheit to uh, Celsius as well, depending obviously where, where, where in the world you are. Uh, tells you how to begin. So it's, it's, it's to be honest, it's a pretty self-explanatory. You, you do you fiddle around with it for probably half an hour and get you know get the hang of it um uh, yeah so there you go it tells you a lot of all reset uh how to turn it on and off um and that's pretty much it really uh there's not much else to it uh yeah the set yeah we just pointed out the celsius and fahrenheit which i've already covered um i think at the at the back yeah the back it tells you about the the range you know depends how you you know if you're baking it or you're eating or you're frying I'll tell you exactly what time at temperature it'll be pre it'll be pre set up, but that, that that's entirely up to you how you're going to set it because you know you could be reheating something and you might want it in, in there for five minutes or maybe fifteen or fifteen minutes. Same with your chicken or anything else. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, I'll, around around this time I had a bit of an issue uh, getting this in. Then I realised how to how to get it in. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah. It fits in, it's quite secure, and then you can get it back out again. Um, so it's quite straightforward. Um, it's good built, you know, it's not, it, it's, it's good for what you get uh, from instant. Well, like I said, I've not used it before. We, we used it for baking. It was really good. Baked the bread in it was quite really, really decent. Uh, so towards the end, yeah, so plugged it in. Uh, make sure there's a bit of a gap. Um, to make sure, more, most important thing, turn it on. Uh, so just like the Tefl, uh, with this one, uh, you just got to make sure it doesn't look like it's turned on, but you got to, you know, put, it, uh, uh, put the, uh, the put the basket back in, and then eventually it will come on. You'll see in a second. There you go. Uh, it'll set it off, but obviously in terms of you just got to set set the setting. Um, Initially, you got the knob there, yeah. So you, you, you just select whether you're gonna roast, air fry, bake, or reheat, uh, and then you go on from there. So, um, so when you select that, you can mess about with the temperature. You gotta hold it down, and then it changes from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and then you know, vice versa. If you hold it down again for a few seconds, it'll change it back again. So it takes up to 205 degrees. Uh, the time, I believe, if I remember correctly, it takes it to uh, uh, an hour. Um, yeah, so you got all these different options. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. It's down to you in terms of change the, the Celsius uh, and, the, and the time. And all you do is just literally just set the time and set set the temperature and just hit start, and that's it. You can press you can press cancel if you want, or you can just pull the, pull the basket out. But yeah, it goes all the way down to eighty two Celsius, yeah, and then goes all the way up, yeah. And the time, yeah, it goes all the way down to one minute. And if I remember correctly, it goes all the way up to 60 minutes, which is one hour, basically. Yeah, that's what it covers you to. Um, yeah, then you just got the cancel. Well, you cl click on the cancel, it just turns it off. Uh, yeah, we just, I was just playing about with the uh, different options. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And that's the end of the video, so make sure you just subscribe, or like and share and we'll get some more videos out soon. Thanks.